Hey there, travel enthusiasts. Ever wondered how fish shape an entire country's culture and economy? Today, I'm diving into the deep blue waters of Monaco to explore just that. Monaco, the second smallest country in the world, boasts much more than its glamorous casinos and Grand Prix. Its coastal location on the Mediterranean Sea makes fishing a crucial aspect of its culture and economy. Local fish species play a starring role here. Let's start with culture. Traditional fishing practices in Monaco date back centuries. Fishermen here still use age-old techniques passed down through generations like the pointu boats, small, colorful vessels that are a common sight in the harbor. These practices aren't just about catching fish, they're a vital part of Monaco's heritage, keeping the connection between the people and the sea alive. Now let's talk economy. The fishing industry in Monaco may be small, but it's mighty. Local fish markets are bustling hubs where freshly caught seafood is sold daily. This not only supports local fishermen, but also drives tourism. Visitors flock to Monaco to sample its renowned seafood from delicate sea bream to the famous Mediterranean anchovies. Moreover, Monaco has made significant strides in sustainable fishing. The government works closely with local fishermen to protect marine biodiversity, ensuring that fish populations remain healthy for future generations. This commitment to sustainability is part of Monaco's broader strategy to balance economic growth with environmental preservation. So, next time you think of Monaco, remember it's not just about the glitz and glamour, it's also about a deep-rooted connection to the sea, where fish play a vital role in shaping both culture and economy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world's most unique places. See you next time.